typically, again, AI in a black box that solves only one purpose. We look at it as a platform. And I think we all need to look at these solutions as platforms that can evolve from where we are today to over time. And we always bring in a level of governance to these initiatives. These are not IT or digital initiatives at face value. They are operational, they are clinical, they are business, they are process improvement initiatives. These are focused on, again, something we're trying to solve for. And so if we say these are IT problems or IT projects, I can tell you they're not gonna be successful. So we always look for that right level of executive sponsorship and ownership to help facilitate these sort of things from happening. I think a good AI partner is one that can scale across your enterprise. And the majority of us now work in healthcare systems versus standalone um, entities. And so the scaling and the enterprise view of a health system is incredibly important. Can, can we use multiple solutions on one platform? Does the platform allow us a communication vehicle? And one example that I'm going to use with you is one that you know very well, uh, AI Doc. Um, instead of buying a product, you know, we felt as though we've engaged in a solution and that solution allows us to continue to scale and expand a platform while also providing the essential communication components uh, required for this technology. I think that a lot of these decisions have to be driven based around um, delivery of care to the patient and, and what we often will call the triple aim. The best quality care with the best patient experience and the best value, lowering the cost of care. So that's that's a tried and true model. And I think that when we think that, and, and the whole point of AI is that it should be delivering on that, right? AI does pro, um, promise that idea that we can deliver great care quicker and at a lower cost. Otherwise, you shouldn't really be looking at the solution in my mind. It's that seek first to understand component of this is, is like, hey, what's important? In this organization, what's what are people being measured on? What are people focusing on to make sure that they're getting right? And I think a partner stops to understand those things, and then they understand how their tools can add value and focus on the ability to add value both to the clinical workflow, to the financial elements uh, of an organization, but but are very focused on helping the health system achieve their outcomes, not their outcomes. We want to understand where whether the problem is truly at a provider level. It's a one-off problem that we are trying to solve, but our preference is always to take a system approach. It also enables a good debate about what we should be doing as a, as a system. Because certainly we, what we don't want to do is, you know, getting into a hype of AI technologies, getting getting too swayed with the with what we call as a uh, tech, toy, tech toy syndrome that we want to implement every technologies for every use cases. So we are very pragmatic about how we introduce these technologies in, in our healthcare system and how does it align and solve our, uh, our key issues that we are trying to solve as a system. If you have a development roadmap and you want to just execute on that roadmap, that's awesome. We probably are not going to partner with you. If you want to work with us to suss out the use cases that we think are important within Auctioner, we'll likely generalize out to other uh, organizations and are willing uh, to get down in the trenches with us and start and working through those changes. That's going to be uh, an organization that we're going to partner with.